and this is Media for Carol Senior Edition. Let's take a minute and give a shout out to all seniors for succeeding over the last four years. We finally did it. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Now I know that I'm not all that you got I guess that I, I just thought Maybe we could find new ways to fall apart But our friends are back So let's raise a down Cause I found someone to carry me home tonight We are young So let's set the Doesn't it feel good to be a senior? Sure does, but with being a senior, we have some responsibilities. Oh yeah, we have to pick up our cap and gowns after our last exam on Tuesday. Yeah, also get rid of, getting rid of any extra pool passes and making sure the underclassmen know we are still the seniors until the 20th. Alex Dingus and Peter Menard, stop parking in the senior parking. <sighs> also make sure you leave your mark on this school before we leave. But most importantly, make sure your last days at Carroll are days worthy of saying it's a great day to be a Patriot. We met up with some Patriots doing exactly this by keeping the tradition of the cheese roll alive. They stay there.
down. That's disgusting. All right, the 2016 tree drill was fun. You gotta eat it first. I'm passing it down to Nick Riley. Yeah. Congrats on a successful cheese roll, boys, and make sure this tradition stays alive for years to come. One wheel of cheese wasn't enough for some of the guys. That's right, a few of them decided they needed dessert. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Good, can you go to the store and get stuff for the time for dinner tonight? Okay! Got the groceries. Here you go, Dad. Oh my gosh, what is this? Well, somebody messed up. So, uh, this is what we have to make a lasagna out of. This is gonna be good. We're starting off with an Oreo bottom crust. Now I know that lasagnas don't normally have crust, but this ain't your grandma's lasagna, so we're making a crust. Chewy chocolate chip cookies, because nobody wants a hard, crumbly lasagna. Chocolate frosting to make things stick. Chocolate covered bacon. Now I know some of you are wondering why we'd ruin perfectly good bacon by putting chocolate on it. Now I'd ask you why you'd ruin a perfectly good lasagna by not putting bacon in it. Now for s'mores. S'more what, you ask? Not chocolate, because some idiot melted it all to put on the bacon. It was me. I'm the idiot. Top that off with some Nutella, the spread sensation that's sweeping the nation. Except not this nation, because none of us are that crazy about it. Next is some candied bacon with cinnamon and sugar, a recipe created by the real Epic Meal Time to which this video is wholeheartedly dedicated. Now we're gonna mix things up with some Reese's Cups, upside down. And if this dish wasn't already meta enough, we're putting Reese's chocolate peanut butter spread on top of the cups. The last layer of mock noodles is more chocolate covered bacon. Why more bacon, you ask? Because you can never have enough bacon, that's why. Finally, we top this monster off with some cool whip. And there you have it, a lasagna nice enough to bring to your aunt's baby shower, but dirty enough to make Willy Wonka cry. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when we eat our ID cards. Some of the boys left their mark on Patriot Athletics. Let's hear from David Austria, James Braun, and Ignatius Brozart about how they made sure Carol Tennis lives on. I heard about it from James and Dr. Carter, just being in class with her. And then also Trevor last year, after he was done with swimming, decided he wanted to do tennis, and so I kind of decided to do the same sort of thing. I found as well, out as well from James, and uh, Ignatius was the one that kind of twisted my arm into doing it. Yeah, it's a lot of time management, but it also it's gonna help in the long run for things like college. Just like, if you're not already doing a sport, it's not a big time commitment, so from that point of view, it's a good sport to get into. And uh, it honestly, it doesn't really matter if you're that good or not, because there's not many players on the tennis team, so you get a lot of attention from the coaches, so you can improve quickly. Yeah, I, mean, I would just cater towards seniors, boys and girls, if you're doing something in the fall and got nothing going on in the spring. I know for soccer players, a lot of, there's club, but senior year, a lot of people don't do it, so it can't hurt to just come out and have some fun. Let's get serious. We spoke with some teachers, and they want to give us some words of wisdom. Seniors, you're going to need a bigger boat. Go build it. Stay humble, stay kind, and when you get where you're going, don't forget to take a look back at where you have come from. Remember to take Jesus with you on your journey from here. Your faith will sustain you through the hard times and the good times. Oh, and know and love your presidents. Bless you all. Thanks for the words of wisdom. We appreciate everything the staff and all the wonderful teachers have done for us over the years. The faculty and staff have taught us a lot over the years. Some of them will be great on a trivia game show. Actually, some of them have been on a trivia show. One that puts their Carol knowledge to the test. Media for Carol was able to get an episode of that show. Final exam, the quiz show that puts your knowledge to test. I'm Mr. Sobleski, 
Let's meet our contestants. Mr. Molfenter, Mrs. Ollier, and Mrs. Kilby. Hi. Our first question is for Coach Molfenter. Coach, how many classes are there in a typical Carroll school day? One. Soccer practice. That's incorrect. There's a soccer game tonight. Still no. Mrs. Ollier. Well, first there's first period, which we've divided into multiple integers. And then you have to also calculate in the exponential growth of lunch period. Um, then you follow the order oper of operations by using the quadratic equation to allow for schedule variance. And we find that the sum total of periods is 95. That's not what we're looking for. 95 squared? Seven. Correct! It's, it's seven. First, there's shock and denial. Second is pain, followed by anger and bargaining. Are you describing the seven stages of grief? This isn't the place for a psychology lesson. No, that's that's just how I feel on the daily when I when I'm dealing with children in my classes. Moving on. The next question is for Mrs. Allier. Playing some good defense out here. That's all. This is final exam, not a soccer match. Listen, nothing gets past this wall, Stableski. Actually, I was looking at your statistics from last season, and approximately 73% more goals got past you than the average goalkeeper. Mrs. Allier. Well, we should just end the game now. There is no statistical probability that the others will be able to top my score. You don't have any points yet. Let's, let's just move on to the next question. Which rival school gets our students the most hyped when it comes to sports? Well, I think we should start by um, stratifying the students by class, and then we could do a simple random sample. They, thank you. We'll, we will move on to Mrs. Kilby. I have a question for you. The best part about your job at Carroll would be? I get money. Um, yeah, yeah, you pay me. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of a thing people need to survive on the daily. Very nice. Mr. Molfenter, what is the best thing about Carol? Oh, you know, I like our track. It's, it's made from the finest materials in the Midwest. Really, uh, it's designed to make the kids' legs feel good after running, you know, help the uh, muscle regeneration process. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mrs. Ollier, who were the new teachers this year? Um, there's Mrs. Peretti and Miss Barnell. We didn't get any new coaches. Not a single one. <laughs> Mr. Molfenter, that is true. Mrs. Kilby, name a word that rhymes with Subleski. No. No. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. That's... You know that's that that's not a thing. I I know that that's not a thing. They they know. Adidas. Adidas rhymes with Sobleski. Mr. Molfenter, Adidas does not rhyme with Sobleski. Okay, we have one more question. Please complete the sentence. It's a great day to be a. Soccer Not coach. Social, Soccer coach. Social studies teacher. <sighs> Patriot! What's wrong with you people? Ugh.
that's it for today's show. And for Carroll High School Class of 2016, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Emily. Good luck next year. They stay there.